He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm, it's Gary, baby. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, Miss Rita Brand. Good, Good morning, morning to you. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. R&B singer Monica, y'all. Everybody's saying Monica may be the next savior. It's been reported, y'all, that Monica honey, was performing, y'all, in Detroit the other day. And they said, honey, she was singing a song, The Boy's Mind. And she just looked down in the audience. And they said she saw a man pop a woman in the face, honey. They said this girl hopped off the stage, honey, and got in that man's face, honey, to let him know that you don't be hitting no woman up in the face and stuff, honey. She said, I was at the River Fest last night, honey, which was actually a dope event in Detroit. She said, wow, honey, at Monica Denise was performing, a man and a woman in the front got into it, and allegedly, honey, the man hit the woman in the face. They said Monica stopped singing and jumped off that stage, honey, to confront the guy. They said she was triggered, Ricky, which I could understand this, um, you know, due to the past domestic violence that she experienced, and they said that's what made her really do that and stuff. But my thing is, people fight at concerts. Have y'all ever, anybody ever yeah. Concert? Is that people fight at on comedy concerts? Boy, you've been on tour yeah. with Mike Epps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Really? Boy, when we was in Baltimore gonna... with the Royal Tour, people got into a fight. Mm. Mm. They got Ooh. a fight broke out uh, during the, the Royal Tour. Yeah. We was in uh, Brooklyn uh, at the uh, Barclay. Is it, yeah, I think it's the Barclay Center. One time, me and Mike Epps did Cincinnati and Columbus, Ohio. Fights broke out uh, that night because, see, I bring out the church folks, Mike helps bring out the drug dealers and the strippers. <laughs> so it'd be a, it'd be a oh good my. mix. <laughs> Lord, honey. And you pay good money and you go into a place and fight like that? That's crazy. Well, how they fight to Monica You music? know how y'all cousin them do. Exactly. Angel yeah. of mine, how you fighting it? Exactly. Good Liquor. <laughs> Liquor. <laughs> Liquor and... Ni- yeah, you know, yeah, bl- yeah, well, black, black, yeah, black folk. When black folk, once black folks start drinking, they get in their feelings, mm, and then you I got am. a, to- you know, it's always one toxic couple, and they get to arguing over some real petty, mm. and then they just get to fighting at the concert. Then they be back together, make love that night, and wake up, ain't nothing happen. Yep, my lord. But they got to go to court. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, child. Well, moving on, honey. They're saying, baby, white women are leading, honey, leading the pack. They're saying they got all the luck in the world. Why? Because they're saying two of NBA's richest and most decorated players, y'all, married white women this past weekend. They're saying on Saturday, honey, Trey Young and Shelby Miller were married. Now, y'all know Trey Young is with the what, the, uh, Hawks the Hawks or whatever. Yeah. He, they say the two-time NBA All-Star met his woman at the yeah. University of Oklahoma, and they began dating back in 2017. She did the right thing. She got a baby. She had that little baby. Baby, little Titus Rain, and now, honey, they are married. She, he married her recently, and they said there was so many people there, and the wedding was nice. People were saying that Trey needs to learn how to dance, because they say he definitely don't know how to dance at all, honey. And then they are talking about, um, what's his name? Um, um, MV, M, MVP player Joel, how you say his name, Rocky? Embiid. Embiid. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, they say, honey, he married his longtime white woman, Miss Anna DePaula. They said he's 29 and she's 28, and they tied tonight <laughs> in New York, honey. Following a church ceremony on Saturday, they said the power couple have been together since 2018, and she did the right thing I, too. She had her son, honey, a two-year-old little Arthur. I tell you what, I tell you what, I bet them white women got some garlic powder and, and some onion powder, some Miss Dash, some Lauris, and slap everything. Your I bet, mama. I, slap your mom. I bet they got all that seasoning up in that cabinet or whatever, because them the ones that get them. Them greens, them greens be on point. Yeah. They cook them greens with them damn ham, ham hock, pinto beans with connecta sausage. Uh, good <laughs> old fashioned homemade dressing, not stuffing, Ooh. dressing, cornbread dressing with you bake it with the onions in there. Uh, they they got they that's how they get them. They they season right because if you they, say if no they, white women season right. Yeah, they, yeah. If, if, if they get to a point where they marry them white women like that, they 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 done went somewhere well, around somebody black and learned how to cook because the way mm. to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's Joe L. B. They say he, he Cameroonian, ain't he? Yep. Yeah, he's, yeah, he. he, he he from Africa. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, so really? Well, he never saw white women. Either. And Trey Young is, he's, he's biracial. White. His yeah. mother is white. Yeah, Trey Young, he grew up eating unseasoned. <laughs> Went in there and baked, 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 baked the whole goat. <laughs> Trey Young grew up eating spinach and kale. <laughs> well, I tell you what, baby, oh, honey. Potato salad with raisins in it. <laughs> well, honey, they, honey, these women, they say they're the luckiest, happiest women in the world, honey. So they ain't got to work another day in their life, honey, as long as they men, honey, in sports, making unlimited coins. So congratulations to those girls. All right, the Kahlua today is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today is Sweet Pea. On the high end, you say Sweet Pea, and on the low end, you say Beautiful Grass Green. That's your Kahlua for today.
Oh, that's beautiful, Gary. Y'all give it up for Gary with the T if you would. 